Hi, and welcome back to Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs for the big night because table games are debuting and world-class harness racing is abounding. Let's go to Harris Chester on Sunday. They had the limbs of the rich Ben Franklin, which takes place, by the way, the final, the $500,000 final takes place when, see ye, tomorrow. And with that limb, here's Heather. Yes, the eliminations go for 50 grand each. In this first one, we've got Shark Jester, who's the number one ranked horse in the entire country dun, in the dun, top dun, ten. Dun, 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 <laughs> I wasn't ready for that shark. That actually scared me, that shark noise. Yeah, there you go. You're good at that. Okay, we've also got Hypnotic Blue Chip coming off a great Battle of Lake Erie win and Atokia. Now, this horse is almost 30 to 1 in here, but has the Yannick Jingra. The Green Hornet in the bike, who's red hot. Andy's Western card shows speed from the extreme outside. There's Shark Jester striding out from the center. Tokyo is up close to the pace, but has been taken back into third. Mr. Wiggles is protecting pylon position, and it is Shark Jester just ahead in front as they round the first turn. Shark Jester being prompted on from the inside by Mr. Wiggles, and these two are tracked by Tokyo. It's a gap of two to Hypnotic Blue Chip, rated fourth. He's five lengths off the lead. Three of spades came away second last, and after a flash of early speed, Andy's Western card has dropped back to the tail of the field, and he's eight and a half lengths off leader Shark Gesture through a controlled 27-second first quarter. The pace is moderate for Shark Gesture, who has dismissed the one-to-nine favorite, and he leads by a length and a half from Mr. Wiggles moving into the bridge turn. Hypnotic Blue Chip is first over, up a joint second with Mr. Wiggles, and Hypnotic Blue Chip will press the pace with a half mile to go. Three of Spades is drafting with him. He's been carried up into third. Mr. Wiggles is gapping the pocket. He's dropped back five and a half lengths off the leaders. And his Western card is set into motion from the back of the pack. A Tokyo is shuffled back to last, taken back nine lengths off Hypnotic Blue Chip, who sticks a neck in front of Shark Jester, who's fighting right back at the inside. They went the half in 55 and four. Three quarters is going to be something. Shark Jester, Hypnotic Blue Chip, 121 and three for three quarters. That's a 25 and four third quarter. Hypnotic Blue Chip, a neck in front at the outside of Shark Jester with 3 sixteenths to go. Three of spades is in close order from third. Then comes Annie's Western card with a Tokia, and Mr. Wiggles lost contact with the field entirely, and Shark Jester is re-rallied to reclaim command. It was a gate-to-wire win and won 49-1 and one for Shark Jester. I was waiting for the noise again. Dun, dun, okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> He's the 1-9 to nine favorite, did not disappoint his legions of fans. Now, this guy, I'm talking about Shark Jester, not Georgie Brennan, although Georgie's good, but Shark Jester does put on one game effort after another. He's just amazing for trainer Larry Remen. Let me just tell you, I don't know if you knew this or not, but Shark Jester actually I took that. a brief um, period in his career where he stood stud. So this fall, Shark Jester is going to have babies going in the yearling sales. I did not know that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I love it. I didn't know that. It's and um, just so you know, 43 foals were born and 33 of them were boys. So look for them in the sales. And who can beat this horse now? He's clearly the best horse in the country. Yeah. Right? Yes. That's why he's number one right now. Okay. Now in the second... Ben Franklin, a limb, another goodie, won the West uh, with the purple. Jesus was the 7-5 to five chalk. Vintage Master was 2-1 to one second choice with Tim Tietrich on the bike and foiled again. The hard-knocking horse who always gives his best with the aforementioned Yannick Jingra was a surprising 3-1 to one overlay and the third choice. Here's the call from James. Dial or no dial pushes through up the inside to assume the early lead. Foiled again, left well too from the outside. And these two peel off by three and a half. From Vintage Master in third by two. Dolly is fourth, sitting five and a half lengths off the leaders. It's two and a half farther back to one the West, and the trailer is keep it real. And foiled again has been pushed by dial or no dial through a 26 and one first quarter. The pace shaping up to be much faster here in the second elimination. And dial or no dial is not going to let foiled again clear. These two fighting tooth and nail with one lap to go, and there's still three and a half in front of Vintage Master in third. Dolly is fourth, biding his time, six off the lead. One the West has seven and a half to make up, and Keep It Real continues to trail, and Dial or No Dial forced foiled again in the pocket. The half, unbelievable, 52 and four. A 26 and three second quarter. And Dial or No Dial maintains a length and a half lead. Foiled again, trying to stay with them. Here comes Vintage Master. Angling first over, and Vintage Master is up to apply steady pressure to Dial or No Dial, who was softened up pretty badly by that 52-4 and four half. And Vintage Master now sticks a neck in front. 
Dial or no dials back to second. Dali is third, two and a half from the lead. Foiled again's locked in. Won the West, in with a shot, four from the front. And keep it real, fans, three wide from the back of the pack. Foiled again, was shuffled back to last. Three quarters and 120 and one. And Vintage Master is four legs in front. Can you say suicide? Well, foiled again, left hard from the six hole, as did your favorite horse, Dial or No Dial, dial. from the rail. <laughs> They dueled through a 26 and one quarter, a 52 and four half. That is not a, that's not a mistake. 52 and four to the half. Before Vintage Master swallowed up, was left of their remains, keeping in our dun 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 dun, oh our shark theme. And are you detecting a theme here? Blue to the front and led the rest of the way, stopping the teletimer in a startling 148 and one. Won the West with Dave Miller, closed well for second, as did Keep It Real with Georgie Knapp to get third. World record, by the way, just so you know, 148 and one. Four year old Pacers on a 5 8 mile track. Did I mention it was a world record, by the way? <laughs> I thought I did. We'll have That's more than race now. <laughs> Thank you. With Tim Tietrick. Well, you know, it worked out great for me. They battled up front really good and they went a really hot first half and 52 and four, I believe. And then, uh, my horse, I pulled him about past the half, and he did the rest of it. You know, finished strong and world record time, so I was very happy with his uh, performance. Talk about pacing uh, Shark Jester in the final. Uh, Shark Jester, he's definitely the one to beat. He's uh, been ultra tough all year, and he's a very good horse, and, you know, hopefully I can get a shot at beating him. I drew good. I drew the rail. He drew on the uh, middle. I think he drew the five, so it'll be an interesting race, you know, so hopefully I can either be on the front or close to it and have a shot at him late. Thanks, Tim. With us now on PA Harness Week is the president of Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs, Bobby Soper. This is a huge night. What does this mean for the facility? What does this mean to you? Yeah, well, it's a milestone for our organization and for our team here. Uh, you know, it's a culmination of a lot of hard work and preparation. Uh, we opened up table games today, uh, actually this morning, and, uh, um, you know, we have uh, 62 table games, uh, blackjack, craps, roulette, some novelty games in a, in a brand new poker room right here in, in our racetrack building and uh, uh, you know it's been well received so far. I love this place yeah. and it's evolved. Tell me about the harness racing here. Yeah well it's, it's great you know I've been here five years since we uh, purchased the track and uh, you know our uh, our goal was to, to make improvements both in the front of house and the back of house and uh, we wanted to improve the quality of racing uh, we want to provide a better product out there and, and a better experience and um, you know the first thing we did before we opened a casino was built a brand new simulcast facility we we, we completely uh, tore down the grandstand, built this beautiful user-friendly patio. Um, and, uh, you know, this year, for example, we made uh, infield improvements, bought a video board. Uh, we're we're uh, prepping for uh, the big daddy of, uh, of racing here, the Breeders' Crown, in, in October of this year. And uh, it's real exciting. And, and, and the speed and times of our, uh, of our horses, I think, is a reflection of, of the track maintenance as well. Absolutely. I can tell you as a horsewoman, the people love racing here. So thank you so much, Bobby. Absolutely.